some quick LOMCQs. So a function of the NBT could be to what? So the NBT, the brainchild of the University of Cape Town, um, it's just to standardize the syllabi between IEB, CAPS, Cambridge, um, all those candidates in South Africa. So determine a potential candidate's ability, strengths, and weaknesses to follow a specific field of study. No, the NBT is not test specific. There's the AQL, the QL, the MAT. It's nothing specific. It's maths, lit, English, and pure maths. Advise students on what type of financial aid they can assess. Nope, it's not that. It's literally a test. Assess whether potential students qualify for regular entry or extended programs in a specific course. Possibly, possibly this one. Let me just make a little line there. Enable tertiary institutions to place students in any other field of study that may be available at the time. No, this is for high schoolers. So it's definitely going to be C. Embezzlement is an illegal act of what? Obtaining money, goods, or property by deceiving other people? Uh, perhaps, perhaps. Getting something, especially money, by force or threats? Embezzlement, no, it's not typically by force. It's behind the scenes, very, very sneaky. Giving or receiving a free reward to influence someone's actions? No, we're not giving any rewards here. We're doing this behind the backs of people. So secretly taking money that belongs to the company you work for, it's definitely going to be D. 1.1.3, examples of health-related components of fitness. Health-related? Body composition, muscular endurance, and reaction time? Does that relate to our health specifically? No. Reaction time, that does not relate to health. Muscular endurance, cardiovascular fitness, and flexibility? Our muscles, our heart, our flexibility, our joints, it's, it's probably going to be B. Sorry, make a line there instead. Coordination, cardiovascular fitness, and muscular strength? No, not coordination. That has nothing to do with health. Cardiovascular fitness, flexibility, and body composition? Perhaps, but body composition doesn't have to do with health. We could be ectomorphs, a bit on the skinnier side, mesomorphs, middle side, endomorphs, just a bit bulkier, but more muscle mass than that. It's definitely going to be B. 1.1.4, an evaluation of an impact study is done to what? An impact study? Secure all the resources needed to complete the intervention? No, remember, an impact study, we're ultimately wanting to see if any changes have been made as a result of, well, that action, that intervention. So it's not security of resources. It's not identifying steps. It's not who deciding. It's not deciding who's going to be in charge. It's definitely determining the changes. We're evaluating. We're just we're checking to see if, if anything's happened. EEA it looks like a business studies question here. The Employment Equity Act uh, of 1998. Act 55 of 1998, intends to regulate what? So Employment Equity Act, it's all about like onboarding employees that, you know, are interested in this, well, position or, you know, do they have the skill set? Do they have the mentality to do it? So look, it's, it's going to be A, it's, it's potential employees. You just want to check them out. The right of workers not to be locked out from the place while striking. That's more Labor Relations Act, LRA type stuff. Employee participation in decision making through workplace forums. No, again, it's more labor relations. Employment of young children under the minimum school leaving age. Yeah, that that is uh, is illegal. Okay, so just some quick MCQs for you guys.